Good morning, Greater Lake Trobe. From the WCAT TV studio, I'm Zoe Favada alongside Brianna Vesley. Coming up in today's show, prom tickets are on sale, there is a scholarship opportunity for students planning to major in education, and the girls' wrestling team is looking for more athletes. All this and more on your WCAT TV news. It's time to purchase your tickets for the prom. The event will take place on May 10th at Core Event Center. Tickets will be available for purchase on MySchoolDance.com, now through April 10th for $70 per person plus fees. Late ticket sales are April 11th through April 15th and are $80 per person plus fees. This dance is open to juniors and seniors. Sophomores can only attend if asked by a junior or a senior. Come out and enjoy this memorable night at the disco. Any senior planning to major in education is eligible to apply for a scholarship from the Greater Lake Trobe Education Association. Please see Ms. Scala for a scholarship application packet. Completed applications are due by the end of the day on Wednesday, April 17th. Any girl who wants to try out for the girls wrestling team next year should pick up an informational packet from a PE teacher and fill out the top page and return it to the senior high office. Students interested in careers in education specifically working with children with special needs, are encouraged to attend an upcoming field trip on Wednesday, May 1st, to visit the Clairview School in Greensburg. Clairview employs special education teachers, counselors, personal care assistants, and more. For more info, please contact Mrs. Yetter. The deadline to sign up is April 22nd. There is still time for students in grades 9 through 12 to sign up to attend a field trip to visit the Seward Generation Power Plant on Thursday, April 18th. You will see firsthand the process that takes place to turn coal into electricity. You will also see careers including welders, machinists, electricians, engineers, and more. A pizza lunch will be provided. See Mrs. Yetter for a permission form and return it by April 5th. Students in grades 9 through 11 interested in careers in the natural gas industry are invited to attend a free summer camp in July in Washington, PA or Williamsport, PA. Scan the QR code for more information and to submit an application. The deadline to apply is May 1st. We go to Gabby Cunningham for an update on our Wildcat sports teams. Good morning, Wildcats. Looking to over the break, last Thursday, the boys volleyball team fell to Hemfield three sets to one. The boys lacrosse team hosted Trinity on Rossi Field where they came away with a 15-4 victory. Reporter Cody Weaver caught up with Nick Stump, who had two goals and two assists after the game. Hey, Wildcat fans, I'm here with Nick Stump. Thanks for joining us today, Nick. Yes, sir. What do you guys as a team think you can improve on this season? Uh, I think the biggest thing would probably be our communication. Uh, and besides that, I think movement, off ball, and then just finishing our open looks. And that's pretty much it. Just get better as the season goes on. All right, thanks for joining us, Nick. Yes, I'm Cody Weaver for WCAT-TV. This past weekend, the softball team fell to Belle Vernon 7-0. Reporter Luke Bullabosch spoke to Milo Williams after the game. Hey, Wildcat fans. I'm here with Milo Williams from the softball team. Milo, you guys took a tough loss today. How do you look to bounce back and work to improve? Um, we really need to work on our hits and get timely hits, and we need to work on all the errors in the field. Thank you, Miley. Yep, thank Reporting you. for WCAT-TV, I'm Luke Bullabosch. Moving on to today's sports, the boys' tennis team faces Indiana at 3.30. Later in the evening, the baseball team hosts Laurel Highlands at 7. Also at 7, the boys' lacrosse team takes on Greensburg Central Catholic on Rossi Field. Wrapping up the night, the boys' volleyball team is on the road facing Deer Lakes. That's all for local sports. Now here's Luke Bullwash with national sports. Thanks, Gabby. Over the break, the Philadelphia 76ers had two games losing to the Cleveland Cavaliers on Friday, 117 to 114, but beating the Toronto Raptors on Sunday, 135 to 120. They play again today against the Oklahoma City Thunder at 7.30. In college basketball, the Sweet 16 in Elite Eight rounds concluded, setting up for an exciting Final Four. UConn was able to blow past San Diego State and Illinois to keep their dreams of back-to-back -back titles alive. Alabama won some close games against North Carolina and Clemson, and will face off against UConn. 11th-seeded NC State continued their magical run with wins over Marquette and Duke, and looked to be the lowest seed ever to make the finals. Purdue got wins over Gonzaga and Tennessee, and will take on NC State. In the women's bracket, the Sweet 16 and Elite 8 games also took place, yielding a Final Four of NC State against South Carolina and UConn versus Iowa. 
In the NHL, the Penguins took home wins against the Rangers and Blue Jackets, but lost one game to the Blue Jackets in a shootout. The Pens play again tonight against the New Jersey Devils at 7. Finally, the Pirates have started off their season hot, going 5-0 the first time for the club in 41 years. That's all for National Sports. Thanks and back to you. Thanks, Luke. Catherine Mavis McKenna Foundation is offering eight full scholarships to young women in Westmoreland County for Bucknell University's Engineering Summer Camp, which will be held June 23rd through the 28th. Please stop in the guidance office for more information. The deadline to apply is April 5th. Idlewild will be hosting two hiring events on April 6th and April 13th at Idlewild Park. Students ages 14 and up can apply to work one of the several positions that are available for the summer. For more information, please visit idlewild.com jobs. The GLSD Facilities Department is looking to hire summer workers. This is a custodial position that includes general cleaning, moving furniture, and groundskeeping. It is a 10-week program and hours are Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. The pay is $10.50 per hour. Interested students can pick up an application from Mrs. Yetter's office. Applications are due by May 1st. The UPS store located in the Giant Eagle Plaza is looking for part-time workers for evenings and weekends. They offer flexible scheduling. Students at least 16 years old are encouraged to apply using the QR code on the flyers or emailing store7238 at theupsstore.com. The Ligonier YMCA is looking for certified lifeguards and swim lesson instructors beginning in April. Starting pay is $10 an hour. Please contact the Aquatics Director, Chelsea Brandt, if you are interested. Thanks for tuning in to this edition of WCAT-TV News. Have a great day, Latrobe. Go Wildcats!